Hello you wonderful people, I've had the idea to make this kind of video for a while now and I'm excited to share my in-game knowledge and tactics to all of you that want to improve at Zero Hour. This will be my first video in this series as I want to do a video like this on every map in the game. So if you like this video and you learned something from it, please consider subscribing because there will be more videos in the series coming in the following days. Alright, so we're just starting this game off as attack. So on attack, my favorite strategy, especially for Terra House, considering the engagement distances are so compact, is to go with the shotgun. The shotgun on this map, I cannot stress how strong it really is. It is just, it's a pretty much a one hit kill from most of the sightlines in this game. You know, like you can one hit kill all the way across with the shotgun from here if you've got a clear line of sight. And then what I usually do with my shotgun strat, I usually just peek, make sure no one's holding that. Shoot out the camera for my teammates so they don't have to do it. And then I just repel down this way. Alright, and then as attacker I usually, I come down like this. And then I just do a little peek, you know, if there's a door there. If there's a guy in kitchen, this shotgun can one shot that range. If there's a guy in that kitchen and that door is open. Then I'll come repel once that's those windows are clear, I'll come repel on this side and I'll check this bathroom, make sure it's okay. As well, if I hear footsteps in this bathroom, for, just pop a grenade in there. Now, the problem is, I hit Reg in the shotgun, it's not consistent, it won't always be. Sometimes you might have to shoot two or three times. But when it works, it is devastating. Anyway, so this back room here, if the bomb is in here, chances are there's always going to be a defender in there. So pretty much, I always just pre-nade this room, just as a safety precaution. And the amount of times I just get an easy kill like that, just pre-nading that room like that is just is ridiculous. And if there's someone hiding in the drawing room as well, you can just come around and get easy pick. You can hold that kitchen a little bit and you can hold if they run around over here as well from this these windows. They're very strong, very strong position there. It's not a very popular spot, but you'll have people in there, so you, when you're repelling, you have to be really careful to be care watch out for this bathroom. And then I just go nicely, slowly long, switch to pistol, make sure I shoot out that camera, and then just a little, just a bit, just a few peeks, you know, you just want to do something like this, see if you bait anyone to take shots at you. Have a look at kitchen, see if there's anyone with the open door. There's usually a guy in kitchen. Um, in that corner is a popular spot, you know, off that door. So you want to clear your angles. And then obviously that door is quite common as well to be open. Alright, a good tactic as well. Is to just to open that door and then get on the repeller again. So then you've got clear sideline to kitchen door. Working together as a team, it is definitely not ideal to have your whole team pushing the stairs. You know, you don't want, the last thing you want is all five guys like stuck walking through this little chokehold and all of you getting naded or, or sprayed through the door or something. You know, you want, I'd say maximum two or three people on this door and then the rest, two or three of your teammates to be repelling, you know, one this window, one this window, or two on this and one on here. And then just having these two guys. Because then, if you have a guy looking through that door, clearing a kitchen, you know, okay, you've got a guy clearing that. You have a guy look, looking through there, clearing this room. Okay, you know, looking into here, you know, that's safe. So then you, And then you've got this guy here, and he's covering here, and he's covering here, and he's covering there. So you know this room's clear, you know this room's clear, you know there's clear. So the only place they can be, and they, they, you know, that's been covered, is really in that room or an office. Um, it is very common for them defenders to throw C4 above this doorway, right? And then if they hear you walking past that doorway, they're just gonna blow it. So you know, if you can see if you can get an angle on that on that C4 somehow, you know, better yet maybe just bait bait the enemies um to think you've ran through the doorway when you actually haven't because you can't aim out straight up in this game because i don't know so you, you know you can't actually shoot that c4 out until until it can kill you um grenades can 
destroy C4. So if you you know if you're really desperate to destroy that C4, and you have no other way, just throw an aid here and it will destroy that C4 there. And the same goes for balcony. It's very common for them to place C4 either there or here or here or here even I've seen I've also seen C4 here. So if you come out drawing room, you know, bang, dead. Yeah. Just be really mindful. Same for door traps as well. But don't just open the door, rush it, rush for it straight away. You want to open it, make sure there's not a door trap there. Then okay, go in, clear the angles. Alright. Defender time. So on as a defender, my go-to gun on this map, even though I love the Kyanite, fantastic gun. I do go the Rattler myself. I like to be more of a sneaky player. I like to kill the enemies without them knowing where I'm from. You know, they're getting killed from. Spy cam, spy cam, spy cam. This is what I'm gonna show you all my little spy cam spots. All right, this is, my, this is what I'm looking forward to. <laughs> all right, so right, I'll try and I'll try and copy it now. See, so I usually mess and get a little bit high and I'll get it up here. Generally speaking, they don't know to say, but look what you get to see with it. Look at that. Look how much information you get from that spy cam. My other little spy cam spot, if the bomb isn't here, or hostage or whatever, is this under this little table here. Bang like that. And this, I, I, I've actually never had this camera shot out. Um, because you can't see it really like that as an attacker. Great benefit of this spy cam is if this door is open, you can actually see this sight line here. So you can actually, with your spy cam, that's really nice and hidden, watch this line of sight without actually exposing yourself. You might want to know about these spots. You might actually want to watch this part because you want to you want to learn how you're dying if you're dying from this so these windows you might not think like yeah you can see through just like tiny these tiny little gaps they don't really give you a lot of information what you can actually do as a defender is you can lay down and look if you look up you'll see quite a lot and generally you know i just showed you that little spot repelling up this wall you'll be able to see most of that wall through these windows and there have been a good few times where I've laid down and I see a guy repelling and he just thinks oh you know you can't see through those windows so I'm safe and then bang he's just right there and I just go easy kill map which is here on the second floor in the kitchen it is extremely likely very oh fucking hell it's a bit glitchy just don't mind me um for attackers to repel up this wall here so what i like to do is you, if you sprint you can actually run on top of this paint bucket and get up on this little like fridge or whatever that's why it's so important as an attacker just be careful with this kitchen window because you can get clapped what but easy 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 work around as an attacker and something you have to be careful as the as the defender is if they shoot out your window and they're just popping aid in. You know they are, you don't you won't be able to see them. They can just throw a nade in from the ground or just from wherever. One thing I like to do a lot um, is that it's pretty effective as just mental game. It's just certain doors. You know if I'm not gonna hide in them. I'm just gonna leave them propped open like that because say oh, it's a kitchen I'm not planning on hiding the kitchen no one is I'm just gonna prop open the door like that so as an attacker right what you're gonna think is oh, okay that kitchen door's propped open a little bit this guy in there um, no you think he's his defenders do that to get a like nice little tight angle a little peak spot uh, on you so I've done this more to find since it's pretty effective, but what it basically makes the attackers think there's a sky in there, so they'll throw a grenade in there, and there's no one in there, and they'll just waste their grenade, um, or their flashbang, or whatever. Because the repelling on this map is so important as an attacker, as a defender, one very strong 
way to counter this is once your 40 seconds are up and you can go outside you know this balcony is very strong for it but these windows here if if there's a guy repelling here or two of them you know whatever as a defender you can just open this door run out and just spray them down now be careful because if you're here they can kill you but if you go actually go to enough of a angle behind them they won't be able to shoot you because of the way this game works attackers can't while well, repelling can't shoot anywhere behind them they've got 180 degrees they can shoot but if you're any way behind them they can't shoot you and then it's an easy kill basically um and it's pretty much guaranteed kill you just run out and shoot shoot them and then run back inside and just reposition okay guys there it was um that was a lot of talking i did um a lot of explaining this main video is probably going to get cut down into my most little favorite bits and just very made very concise probably like 10 minutes or something because i've been talking for over an hour <laughs> um i'll probably upload like a full length version like unless unlisted version of absolutely everything i go through all the little spots everything uh, i can think of with this map um in the description of the video so if you want to watch absolutely even more detail and more explanation on, on this map feel free to click that link in the description to the unlisted video where I, I of the raw recording with just cutting out the boring parts where i just don't really explain anything useful um but yeah that was it that was the first episode in the series Expl going through the maps explaining what i like to do my tactics that work for me as both attacking and defending and um some good tactics and strategies so yeah i hope you enjoyed that video i hope you learned i hope it makes you a better player um and i hope it works for you as it has for me so next video will probably come out in a few days subscribe like the video if you learned something if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys next time adios